So it's Bruno the Green Boater, and we are here in Seattle, and we are about to witness the unveiling of Pure Watercraft's newest and latest venture with General Motors, which is their pontoon boat. Up until now, they have been releasing their outboard motors, and they have been selling the outboard motors in the packs, but now they have got a complete system, and this system is revolutionary. This is a, uh, a significant step in the marine industry, and people like Pure Watercraft and General Motors are really leading the way when it comes to putting these products in the hands of consumers at an affordable price and something that makes sense. It's Bruno the Green Boater and we are in Seattle at an, a momentous day. This is the day when we have a reveal of Pure Watercraft and GM's a product that is launched in the marketplace. And here to join me is our friend Ed, who we met four years ago. So it's just wonderful to connect with you again, Ed. Thanks, Bruno. Let's just roll the clock back from 2019 when we first met. Uh, great to see that the company not only is still here, but it's invested and it's growing and you've got some exciting products. But just walk us back to 2019 and the process of going to where you were then with that first prototype coming out to where we are today. Where we were with the first prototype coming out was where we were looking mostly at motor, just doing motors, repowers, partnerships with hull manufacturers like Highfield we offer on our website, a uh, little roughly 12 foot ribs, 12 to 14 foot ribs, and repowering those with all electric. Coaching launches for rowing and for safety launches for sailing clubs. Here we are at Mount Baker Rowing and Sailing in Seattle. But the partnership with General Motors brought more possibilities and the largest and fastest growing segment of the boating world is pontoon boats and we are coastal elites here, so I, I will admit that I looked down my snobby coastal elite <laughs> nose and thought, pontoon boats, really? Kind of, you know, just not that classy of a boat. And until I started going on them, and we were repowering Bass Pro Shop Sun Tracker pontoon boats, and even just there, I thought, well, this is a great platform. I mean, if someone's in a wheelchair, you can wheel them right on. Or if grandma and grandpa have trouble getting down into a boat and up out of a boat, you can just wheel them right off the dock into a into a boat, right? Level with the dock. Yeah. And much more versatile. For much lakes. For, for lakes, which is most uh, boating. You know, we on the coast, yes, I, I think electrics, it'll be more hybrid moving to electric on the coast where you need a lot more power to run all the way up to Vancouver Island or whatever. What we put together is just a way more efficient boat. What most people have done over the years of internal combustion is just throw more horsepower and not really think about the hull. We put a lot of energy into uh, making a hull that I wish I knew the exact number, but I know that it's over 20% more efficient. So we, with two of our 50 horsepower, 25 kilowatt motors on the back, we can go right around 30 miles an hour with a boatload of people on board because of a foil that is is about two thirds of the way toward the stern on the under the boat. So at about 11 miles an hour, it starts to lift up and get way more efficient. Let's it's, just talk a little bit about uh, GM's involvement. But talk about, about that partnership and how important it was for Pure Watercraft. Well, I'm just the brand recognition. The uh, I think Mary Barra is brilliant CEO who is moving progressively into the future, saying I think they're committed to 3035 being all electric. They're doing bright drop vans for FedEx and Walmart. They're doing, they're getting into locomotives and aircraft and all kinds of things. When they announced the partnership with us, it's, there's just a ton more people that see what Pure Watercraft is doing. And that makes a huge difference just to be seen. We've kind of been under the radar working. It's been almost 12 years now of R&D and a lot of investment into what we're doing. And GM brings validity, I guess, some backing, some know-how about tooling up factories, some resources in terms of batteries, 
can make us really competitively priced because of the economies of scale. You also hear these horror stories when a large company takes on a small partner that they just dictate everything. But how's that been? Have they looked at you as equal partners and allowed you folks to keep with your vision? Andy Rebelly, our founder, and those of us who've been with the company for a long time, and, and people who join, and almost all are stockholders and all are into the mission of making boating not just cleaner and quieter, more environmentally friendly, but also more accessible. There'll be news to come about a pure watercraft boat club where you don't have to buy a boat if you want to just join a club, but that's coming soon too. Uh, <laughs> oh, there's a always world something with you. this guy where he just dangles uh, me a little bit, right? <laughs> uh, uh, GM came in for, with for 25% of the company. So we still are really in control of what we're doing. Yeah. And they've been great partners and really warmly embracing everything that we are doing. So here it comes. What a what a beautiful, beautiful lines too on this boat. So. The boat is actually leaving for Michigan for Mary Barr to go for a little ride here in about two or three days. Ed, thank you so much. This is uh, Bruno with Green Boater down in Seattle. Really excited about Pure Watercraft and we're going to hear way more, Ed's promised. Go and, to purewatercraft.com <laughs> and place your pre-order. Thank you for watching this episode of the Green Boater TV. We are looking for one million boaters that are willing to change one thing and how they do their boating to help stop ocean pollution. Perhaps this video contained it. Subscribe to this channel for other ideas about how you can create the ocean you love.